and welcome. My name is Jacob and this is Trade Happy. Today we're going to be going over the markets and we're going to be reviewing the last week's trades. Um, there's been some good moves on GBPUSD, um, so we're just going to be going over those and going over the rest of the markets for the upcoming week. Now, starting on GBPUSD, uh, the previous week was really good. We had five trades, one loser and four winners. The total was a 37% gain. Um, so the first trade was this one here, where we go long. And uh, the take profit for that trade was up here. And then we got long here, same take profit. Um, but after this loser, um, this trade here, I wanted a smaller take profit just because of this losing trade. If this one hit the take profit, then this trade wouldn't have happened. Um, but yeah, that was a nice trade as well. Nice 2% gain on that. Nice 2% gain on this one. The reason for entering this one when all the others were long is because we'd broken through this area where my previous take profit was and the area that I was having a look at. And when the market moved higher, we would normally see a retracement back into some kind of area where price had been previously. So if we have a look at this, you can see we came back down to this area here or this high and I was expecting price to come down a little bit and that was just a logical area what where I was looking pretty much. Um, so yeah, another 2% gain on that one. So really, really good last um, week, last week. Um, the next week for GBPUSD is going to be similar, hopefully. Um, I'm targeting this area up here, 1.3. Um, but there could be a retracement. So there could be some movement around here and then, and then possibly what day is this? 9th of June. So maybe mid next week or to, towards the end of next week we could start breaking higher and getting moves up to that area up here. So that's kind of what I'm expecting on GBPUSD. There could be a move coming up pretty soon because I like to see this. Um, so let me just mark that off. So that's a nice area that I like to see, and there could be a break uh, higher, or there could be a break lower, and we could come back down here and then possibly do some more of this action here, and then get a break higher. Doesn't really matter which. Um, if we get a break higher, then I'll be entering. If we get a break lower, I'll be waiting until we get possibly around this area and then looking to get some buys in. Um, but yeah, still bullish on GBPUSD until we hit that 1.3 zone. Euro USD. So as I mentioned in the Discord group, this was an area last week that I was having a look at. 1.13 uh, and we broke that and we came up to the 1.14 area but we didn't actually touch it. So possibly for next week, there could just be a tiny little um, move higher and then we can get a little bit of a move down. Perfect. So the 70%, I know you can't see that because of the blue line is actually exactly on it, but the 70% zone is exactly where this blue line is at that 1.3 area. So. That could be a good area for a reversal. Um, if we're so we're currently at that price now, and if we open up and we move higher, I'll be looking for shorts possibly. Um, but yeah, Euro USD has kind of got some room to move. As you can see on the weekly, we are in a big downtrend, so 
the overall is bearish um, but if we can get a little move up into this area possibly looking for shorts to then take down to these areas down here so let's just say you entered once the market opened on the Monday at that blue area stop loss above that and then your take profit would be down here which is obviously a massive trade of 570 pips with 100 pip stop loss um, risking 1% to make 5 but then you go in here and you look for smaller trades um, to then take down to your overall take profit and uh, yeah that seems like quite a good trade that could be on your USD next week we'll see what happens if anything does come up I'll make sure to post it into the chat um, if you're not in the discord group make sure to join the links in the description all of the trades uh, throughout the week and all the trade updates and money management trade management are all posted into the discord as it happens so make sure to join um, Euro, Euro JPY is up next just go into the weekly again it's very similar to Euro USD overall downtrend big move up um, but there's not really anywhere where the market could turn because this is the only area that I'm looking at really uh, for a short position so we've still got quite a bit to move you could be looking for some more longs in here there's still room to budge um, but yeah there's still room so could be looking for longs on Euro, uh, Euro JPY but again I'm only really trading GBP USD and Euro USD if there's a clear clear setup on any of the other pairs that I'm looking at which are Euro JPY, NZD USD, AUD USD, AUD JPY and CAD JPY then I'll take them of course but if there isn't something clear like there isn't anything clear on Euro JPY then I'm not going to be looking for anything. Now this was a zone uh, last week that I was having to look for a reversal and we didn't really get anything and we actually just broke straight through that area so next week you could be out targeting these highs up here Um, so that is an area that you could be looking at how many pips are in here about 200 pips so not a massive amount but still a good move um, plenty of money to be made on that uh, so you could be looking for longs on any NZD USD there's not too much I'm really looking at um, but next week if we can get a little bit of a consolidation and possibly a breakout could be really really nice to see of course you've had the consolidation here and then the break higher consolidation so if we can get a break higher that could be a good area to buy to target the highs up there so the next one is AUD USD again very very similar um, pretty much exactly the same as your USD from a quick glance so yeah we're currently looking for a reversal I'm actually just going to get rid of that from my checklist just because it's so similar same with AUD JPY CAD JPY um, the 84 zone up here is a good area to have a look at for some shorts and of course you can be trading long in that area um, if you want to take those trades but of course after the big move it's quite risky you want to be trading in this candle here because you've got so if we have a look at this that's the high of the previous week and if you were to trade exactly when that price broke 
You've got a trade there. Of course, I don't know where your stop loss is going to be. But you've got to move up to that zone there, which is over 500 pips. Risking 1% to make almost 10%. Um, so, yeah, that could be a very good trade if you were getting long as soon as that broke. And you could just do the same here. Um, so as soon as we break the high of that previous week, looking for a long position in here, stop loss. Obviously, because that move has already happened, it's a lot riskier. Um, so I really wouldn't be looking for trades once we broke this high. Um, I would probably be expecting to see a bearish candle something about that and then get a move higher next week and then push that zone and then possibly even fake a breakout and then we can move back down um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing on CAD JPY again I'm only really trading GBP USD and Euro USD but if there are trades on other pairs I will have a look so Two main trades are GBPUSD, looking for possible long positions or even short positions, depending on what happens, and EURUSD looking for shorts. Now, EURUSD could be quite a good trade because, again, like we had on GBPUSD, we had that turning and then we were trading inside of this zone here. EURUSD, we've had that big move and there's quite a large wick. We've of course got the 70% retracement and we're at that round number where price has turned already. So Euro USD is looking like a good pair to trade next week. That's the pair that I will be trading next week and hopefully making some good gains. Of course, if you liked the video, remember to subscribe and hit the like. If there are any trades that you're having a look at next week, remember to post them in the comments or join the Discord and post them in there. Again, link in the description and I'll see you next week.